The Battle of Boang, also known as the Battle of Boang Slope, was a battle fought between the warlords Cao Cao and Liu Bei in 202 in the late Eastern Han Dynasty. Chapter 1 Background Liu Bei originally sought refuge under the northern wall of Yuan Shao after being defeated by Cao Cao in 200 at Chu Province. However, he left Yuan Shao after the latter was defeated by Cao Cao at the Battle of Guandu in late 200, and went to Jing Province to seek shelter under the governor Liu Biao. Liu Biao initially welcomed Liu Bei, and put him in charge of Xin Ye, but he gradually grew suspicious of Liu Bei as the latter became increasingly influential in Jing Province. As a result, Liu Biao sent Liu Bei to Boang near Jing Province's northern border to defend against an invasion by Cao Cao. At the same time, Cao Cao's forces were at war in northern China with Yuan Shao's remnant forces, led by Yuan's sons Yuan Tan, Yuan Zai, and Yuan Shang. To counter Liu Bei's maneuvers, Cao Cao sent his generals Xia Ho Dun, Li Dian and Yu Jin to lead an army south to attack Liu Bei. Chapter 2 – The Battle During the battle, Liu Bei suddenly set fire to his camp and retreated south. Xia Ho Dun gave chase but Li Dian cautioned him, I suspect that there's an ambush because the bandits are retreating for no reason. The paths to the south are narrow and the bushes are thick there. Do not pursue. Xia Ho Dun ignored Li Dian's warning and left Li behind to guard the camp while he led the rest of his troops to pursue Liu Bei's retreating army. As predicted by Li Dian, Liu Bei did indeed set an ambush, and Xia Ho Dun fell into the trap and was defeated. Li Dian's regiment came to Xia Ho Dun's rescue and Liu Bei retreated after seeing Li Dian's reinforcements. In the battle, Liu Bei's general Zhao Yun captured Xia Ho Lan, an enemy commander who was from the same hometown as Zhao. Zhao Yun requested that Liu Bei spare Xia Ho Lan's life, and recommended Xia Ho to be a military judge. Chapter 3 in Romance of the Three Kingdoms. The battle is featured in Chapter 39 of the historical novel Romance of the Three Kingdoms by Luo Guanzhong. Cao Cao sent Xia Ho Dun to lead 100,000 troops to attack Liu Bei in Xinye. At that time, Zhuge Liang had just joined Liu Bei's forces and had not made any contributions yet. Liu Bei's sworn brothers Guan Yu and Zhang Fei were reluctant to follow Zhuge Liang's orders, so Zhuge borrowed Liu Bei's sword and official seal to establish his authority. He described the battle plan to counter Xia Ho Dun's army, Guan Yu and Zhang Fei would each lead 1,000 men to wait in ambush on the left and right sides of Boang respectively, and burn the enemy's supplies when they see fires burning at the south, Guan Ping and Liu Feng were tasked with setting fire to Boang slope, when the enemy approached, Zhao Yun would lead the vanguard to lure the enemy into the ambush, Liu Bei would lead the backup force. Zhuge Liang also asked Liu Bei to prepare for victory celebrations. When Xia Ho Dun arrived at Boang, he selected half of his troops to be the vanguard while the rest defended the supplies. Zhao Yun and Liu Bei consecutively came to challenge Xia Ho Dun, then feigned defeat and retreated to lure Xia Ho Dun to chase them. When Xia Ho Dun personally led the pursuit, his deputy Han Hao cautioned him against ambushes, but Xia Ho replied, I see that the enemy is so weak. Even if they set ambushes on ten sides, I have nothing to fear. As Xia Ho Dun ventured deeper into the valley, Liu Bei came to engage him again but retreated soon. Xia Ho Dun laughed and said to Han Hao, So this is the ambush you were talking about, and then advanced towards Xin Ye. During the pursuit, Yu Jin and Li Dian arrived at a narrow position, and a worried Li told you, one who underestimates the enemy would certainly encounter defeat. The terrain here is rough, what if the enemy uses fire here? Yu Jin understood Li Dian's concern and rode ahead to warn Xia Ho Dun while Li tried to stop his men from moving further. Xia Ho Dun suddenly realized the danger he was in and tried to retreat but Liu Bei's forces lying in ambush had already set fire to his surroundings. Strong winds helped to spread the fire as Xia Ho Dun's troops panicked and stumbled on each other as they attempted to flee, while Zhao Yun turned around to attack the enemy. 
Xiaohou Dun escaped by bashing through the flames and smoke. In the rear, Guan Yu and Zhang Fei's men set fire to Xiaohou Dun's supplies as Han Hao and Xiaohou Lan attempted to save the supplies. Xiaohou Lan was slain by Zhang Fei while Han Hao fled, along with Li Dian, and Yu Jin. The following morning, Xiaohou Dun gathered his surviving soldiers and retreated back to Xuchang. After the victory, Guan Yu and Zhang Fei changed their attitudes towards Zhuge Liang and treated him with full respect. Meanwhile, in Xuchang, Xiaohou Dun bound himself and met Cao Cao, requesting death as punishment for his defeat, but Cao Cao forgave him and released him. Cao Cao also rewarded Li Dian and Yu Jin for their foresight. Historicity Liu Bei's biography in the Sangazi mentioned that Liu Bei resisted Xiaohou Dun and Yu Jin at Boang. He prepared an ambush and set fire to his own camp and pretended to retreat. Xiaohou Dun pursued Liu Bei and fell into the ambush and was defeated. Besides, although both Liu Bei and Zhuge Liang's biographies did not specify the year in which Zhuge Liang joined Liu Bei's forces, Zhuge Liang was mentioned in Liu Bei's biography only after the Battle of Boang. There was no mention about Zhuge Liang's involvement in the battle. Chapter 4, In Popular Culture the battle provided a basis for many skits in the different types of Chinese opera. For example, it was featured in Cantonese opera and Zhejiu. The battle was also featured in many Three Kingdoms themed video games, such as Capcom's Warriors of Fate, Koei's Sango Kushi Kumaiden, Sango Kushi Sausauden, and Dynasty Warriors 4. The battle is the first stage in Warriors of Fate and Sango Kushi Kumaiden. The ancient battleground of Boang is now designated a county-level heritage, where a stone monument commemorates the battle. Broken halberds and ashes of grains were discovered there, and were archaeologically determined to be from the late Han Dynasty.